Today I'm having chow mein again to see what they do to my blood sugar levels. In my previous video, as you know, when I had chow mein, my blood sugar levels had only increased by 24 mg, the lowest in the series. So I thought, let me check again because how can it be? This is all maida. This time I've ordered from another place, Haldi Rams. This time also I'm having 250 grams chow mein. This should be about 600 calories. Let's see if the result is any different. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 25 mg increase. Okay, this is about the same as when I had chow mein in the previous video where my blood sugar levels had increased by 24 mg. The good news is that the readings are correct because now I've had chow mein from two different places and it's given me similar results. If you remember, in my previous chow mein video, I was speculating that because restaurants and street food vendors buy their noodles from outside, that could be the reason why the glucose spike was low. And now I found some research papers confirming the same. I put a link in the description. The research papers show that at the first step of noodles manufacturing, when maida is mixed with water, maida has a high glycemic index. And once the mixture is converted into a noodle shape, they're heated, cooled and stored. And then they're sent to the restaurant where they're again heated to make chow mein. And it is this process of heating, cooling and then reheating which increases the resistant starch in maida, drastically reducing its glycemic index. This also implies that if I had freshly made noodles, say at a fancy restaurant, my blood sugar spike would be much higher than this because of lack of resistant starch. 